Hi everybody, it's Darlene here, and yes, I'm the grandma that's done the elf haul. Yes, grandmas do. Also by eyes, lips, and face. I'm trying to get this light there. That's a little bit better. Well, I got my e.l.f. products from the studio sale. They had 50% off on, and so I picked up quite a few fun items. One is this e.l.f. lip gloss, and this is in a berry color, but it's a much more soft, kind of a pinky neutral. Uh, I really like it. It's the glossy gloss. Not sticky, moisturizing, really nice. I like it a lot. I got a mineral lip gloss too in that also I like their mineral gloss as well consistency is a little bit different a little bit more creamy like them both this one's three dollars and I think this one was a dollar but don't quote me on that one I have been wanting to get the transformers and these are really sheer pretty light colors that kind of have um, almost an iridescent look when you put them on. Really fun, really pretty. I just love the way they just give a soft glow to your eyes. What I did was I put on my makeup before I started um, the video and I used some of my e.l.f. products to show you how great they worked. I got the Baked Palette and this is in New York and I got it also in California and so what I did was I did my makeup with the California because I think if you're going to get any one of the two uh, this is a good neutral it's a lot easier to work with if you're over 30 and you're worried about some crazy colors and stuff the California palette has some neutrals so what I did is you can see how it it's a bit powdery when you work with it um, I used these three colors I think in that in the highlight area but I used a little bit of primer I used my Urban Decay primer and this is the Eden color and then I used just a traditional eyeshadow brush with these colors and uh, I think it came out really soft and pretty I I can't complain I tap off the excess I recommend you do that and then, surprise, surprise, <laughs> the little black eyeliner from from e.l.f., a dollar, I think it was a dollar, I think I got this at the dollar store. Um, one is waterproof and one is regular, but they're both really easy to work with. The line is super, super thin. I mean, so easy to just work with the line. I was really, for a dollar, you can't go wrong with that. So I really like that liquid eyeliner in the black. The other thing that I was impressed with was the Makeup Lock and Seal. And there is a high-end cosmetics company that I was going to buy this from, or a similar product, and they forgot to put it in my order or something, and I noticed that e.l.f. offered something like that. So this is a pretty nice size of product. It comes with a brush and the brush gets stiff so you're supposed to clean it after you use it obviously I didn't but oh there it goes and there's a little clear cap that's in the package so don't throw that away because I threw it away and then had to dig it out and you just put a few drops of this into the cap wet the brush and then you can go right over your eyeshadow you can go over any of your makeup and it sets the makeup and I tried the uh, eyeshadows the other eyeshadows with this just painted it lightly over it's very cool doesn't burn um, just kind of feels just very cool soothing and it sets and it held my makeup on without a primer really well so I like this product a lot I think that's three dollars then the other thing I got was the new eyeshadows for the blue eyes and this is I believe blue eyes too and I wanted to try some of the blue colors and just get radical and do a little blue eye and break out a rule. Personally, this was a little bit uh, too much for me. I'm 51. It was just a little too 70 show. But it was fun. 
and I don't know about these other neutral colors. I would definitely say that would be my next thing I would try. Um, it's kind of powdery, a little bit chalky, not bad. Let me just show you a little swatch. So that's the blue, the dark blue. Here's the medium blue, and here's the light blue. Can you see that? Where are we? Okay. So, you know, the pigmentation's not bad on them. I like that it's 50% off. So, for the dollar fifty or whatever that was, it was worth it. The baked eyeshadows, they are ten usually, so for five dollars I would definitely say I recommend the baked California palette. If you're looking for a nude neutral palette, there is a bit of sparkle in there. There are some shadows that have some glitter in them, and so tap them off, or you might get fallout glitter on your face. That's just like a heads up. The other thing that was fun was I've been dying to try the HD blush in, dare we say, the high-end Makeup Forever, I think has it. And they just came out with this in e.l.f. And here's two shades that I picked up. This is a Diva color, and this is Superstar. So this is the middle range pink. It's a hot, fiery, bright pink. And you only need the tiniest pin dot of this stuff, okay? I have it on and I worked it in well. I'm very proud of myself. I had to experiment a couple of times. So you need to shake it up because there's some liquid separation. And all you need is the tiniest press. Like like that. I'm serious. I mean, can you even see that? To see how that spreads. You know, your cheek isn't that big, so you don't need much. And the prettiest coloration that I found was when I mixed these both. So I mixed the two colors. I could put a tiny dot of the peachy color and a tiny dot of that other color and I just blend it in. Just a really light touch but fast. Right to the apple of your cheeks and then blending it up and out. So just from your hand and then to your face. Now what I did was I started out with a cream foundation and that helps a lot to give you a base that you can blend it out. So you can see it looks pretty. It I like it a lot. It won't this this will last you for years and years and years unless it dries out. Uh, and I think the packaging is pretty pretty good not to dry out. So I recommend that. And let's see, one other thing I got was um, there are single eyeshadows and I've been kind of really wanting to get this raspberry truffle color. It's a beautiful color. You can see how pretty. Just a little bit of a shimmer. It's sort of like a burgundy plum brown soft neutral. Looks really pretty with any eyeshadow. I mean, any eye color, it's a good neutral for anyone. Also, the pans of the size of this thing are humongo. Here's the oatmeal color. Both of these are great neutrals to work with. I mean, you could actually put this all over from your lash line to your brow line, uh, mascara, a little lip gloss or whatever, and kind of have a pretty soft sheen. It's also a nice base color in general, so I really recommend those. I love the size of these. When you compare the palette size, okay, so this is a one single. Look at that. Compared to this, you get six. So, you know, it's just really a matter of taste, but I love the pigmentation on these single eyeshadows. So that's the Studio Single Shadows from e.l.f. And they are really nice. So you see, you know, any age of woman can use the eyes, lips, and face products. I think they're fun. It's sort of like, it was like Christmas opening up all these little goodie boxes and they have a lot of good specials on their website. So check them out. And uh, if you want to have some fun with makeup, not worry about spending a ton of money, um, just get on their email list and they will send you an email. I think they're on Facebook as well. And just, I always look to see when are they having a special, when is there a sale and that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.